Alberta. Dance. My name is Linda Boudreaux Samaganis, and I'm the elder for the Alberta Native Friendship Center Association. Our gift to the uh, NAFC and to our brother and sister centers across the country is Smudge, the medicine sage. When Creator, after he had lowered the male and female beings, he gave us four medicines to use, cedar, sage, sweetgrass, and tobacco. He said, whenever you burn this, I will hear what it is you are saying. And for all the years after that, we've used our smudges. As pitiful as we get sometimes, we go out and gather sage and sweetgrass and cedar and tobacco and we make our medicines, and we make our smudges, and we cleanse ourselves. And the sage is a woman's medicine, and a woman is known for kindness, and strength, and honesty, and being able to hold things together. Because that's what we do when we have our babies, when we have our families, when we have partners. When we work in our communities, that's what we do as women. And we become mothers first and then grandmothers. And some of us are lucky enough to have uh, great grandchildren, our little chapans running around, raising heck all over, and we laugh at them. And laughter is our greatest healer. So when we use the smudge, we remove all that negativity that we pick up in our walk every day. When we look around our families and communities, there's always lots of negativity. You know, you ask somebody, how are you? And they'll give you an hour's sad sob story. And uh, I always ask, now what good things have happened? Because sometimes we get lost in that negative and uh, we need to smudge and remove that so that we can look at things in the glow of positive, positive feelings, positive attitudes, and positive interactions with each other. Instead of looking for the negative, we get such really good results if we look for the positive. I've worked with youth for 40 years, and uh, whenever you tell them something good about themselves, they get all shy and embarrassed. But if you say, you're such a dork or something nasty, they just walk away looking proud. We have to reverse that. That's what our smudges are about. And we always have to have a clean place to burn our smudges. And so we present this bowl, this bowl to be used. And we choose a small one, because we don't have to have a great big bonfire. Even two leaves of sage will bless you and cleanse you. So we bring a small bowl because the bundle is going to travel across the nations like that. So it won't take up too much room and the ones that are carrying that bundle won't have arms like, uh, like one of those monkeys from trying to carry that heavy bundle. So that's our gift from Alberta. And we use that because we know the uh, Friendship Centers, I've been involved for over 40 years with Friendship Centers and I know it's always been a struggle. We, we get ahead a couple steps and we get knocked back four. We get back up and it's always that way. But you know when you look around the room, I was looking here when I came in. There's kids that were just very young teenagers when they started off here and now they're getting up there. And, when I look at the ones I started with, we were real rebels too. We were young and in our 20s and 30s, and we were really highly rebellious political activists. And now we're just kind of complacent, old and crazy people <laughs> who firmly believe that the Friendship Center movement is the one that makes a difference in our families and communities. And when I look at our youth, and I work with youth across Canada, 
The Friendship Center youth are the most respectful, the most hardworking, and the most dynamic bunch of kids that I've ever seen. I have never been disrespected by any of the kids in any of the meetings that I've gone to across the country. So that's really awesome. We're teaching our young people, right? And we need to take that acknowledgement in our hearts so that we can continue to do that because this walk is never easy. And I just want to say something about some of the empty chairs, the people that we've lost in the last few years, like many, many of our people are leaving to go back home to Creator. And those are the ones that are going to be guiding us. You know, I feel that sadness a lot of times, but then I think about all the things they contributed and how they believed in what we do here as friendship centers and human beings. And I know that they're holding my back. And uh, I talk to a lot of people about it. And I know that whatever they have given us is going to stay with us for a long time. And that's what's going to help us bridge to that success that we need so that we can be more effective and reach more people. So with that, I thank you for listening. Hi, hi, Nanaskoman. Congratulate uh, the National Association of Friendship Centers on 40 years. Um, on behalf of the Alberta Native Friendship Centers Association, I'd like to present you with this gift to the National Association. So it's like a birthday party. It's like a birthday party. Come on, read the card, Cody. I wrapped on it health. myself. Merle, you actually did. You wrapped it yourself. <laughs> the brown paper from Nelson's office. Yep. Couldn't, find, couldn't find the newspaper. The beauty is in receiving the gift. Thank you very much. So it's um, amazing. Some of your favorite stuff too, I see. Bubble wrap. Nelson wants that back. <laughs> the stress management uh, tool of executive directors. <laughs> And it's a recycled gift because Nelson wants the bubble wrap back, we tell The Linus Woods in its title, Lozon, Lozon in the Buffalo Grass. Uh, my recent work is influenced by my surroundings on the Long Plain Reserve in Manitoba. Because of climate change, we are now seeing many animals that have never traveled our prairies. Local hunter William Longclaws told me that he recently saw a bear and that this will forever change the balance within the animal world. The coyote will have his challenges. Thank you. Thank you very much.